Hey everybody, Jax here with another UDK tutorial, and this is the second tutorial uh, for my tutorial series. And um, in this uh, particular video, we're going to be working on gameplay and flow. To begin with, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and open up a new map, and we're going to go with a uh, I might go with a blank map. Yeah, blank map. Close that down. Move this over a little bit. And now we got a blank map. And so the first thing we're going to do is we are just going to block everything in. We're going to get everything uh, just blocked in. So I'm going to I'm gonna do a little bit of this, guys, and then uh probably gonna let you guys go off and do this a little bit on your own. I'm just gonna show you the basics. Scale this up a bit. Let's uh go ahead and add this and uh what am I thinking of doing? No. It's on omelet, so let's go in. Okay, I know that's not wide enough. Let's go and widen that up a bit. Go ahead and add the volume. Let's go and add some basic lighting because you have to. Now, I'm just going to pull this up a bit. And pull over the omelet. Got to build first, build the lighting. I'm not going to use light mass. Um, just because it takes a bit more time. I'm going to place test it. This is a little bit a little bit small. I'm going to make it quite a bit wider. Anyways, guys, um, I don't think I'm going to uh, show you any more right now, but I'm going to uh, continue in a bit once I'm done with this little bit, uh, update you guys, and show everything you did, to show you guys everything I did. And uh, I'll, I'll see you in just a moment. And I'm back. So let me get let me show you guys what I did uh, with my map. Take a look around here. A little bit laggy, but uh, I just did some BSB filling. I added a player start just for uh, my own orientation. That way I don't get lost as to what is the beginning and what's the end. I added a little bit of a well. I added a wall as somewhat of a block out and kind of excuse to save resources and this uh, little waterway I'm gonna uh, I'm going to add a static mesh of some kind of uh, not fencing but some like uh, uh, what do we call it just some uh, crowbar in here and uh, block that off and I'll probably put a little bit of a fog in here blackout that section so you can't see it and that's what I got so far got uh, some blockades going all the way down got that bridge um, that we had there's not much need for a ton of detail on top because you're never gonna see it um, and the point of this stage is to only use BSB. Don't add lights, don't add static meshes, don't add uh, textures, do not add anything but BSP. Then once you're ready to play test, add a couple lights just and so you can actually play test it, run through, see if everything's running well, running the way you uh, want it. And I already did that. So um, I kind of like it the way it is. And so, 
me just show you guys the rest of this. Go down here and uh, here's the other end, which is kind of the same thing as down there. It's going to have some. Uh, it's going to be grayed out in there, or blacked out, and have some uh, bars on it. And here's uh, the um, entrance to a door that you have to get to. I'll clear over there. And so, from the looks of it, I'm uh, I'm all done with my block out, my uh, yeah, my block out for testing gameplay, and I really like it. Um, so I, I believe I am satisfied in that regard. And make sure you play test it like a ton. Just spend a lot of time on the play testing to make sure everything plays out just the way you want it and then you have an idea of what it should be like and then once you start adding details you can tell if you're deviating from your original idea and if you want to go back to that original idea or if you want to take your map in new directions so um, I think that is it for this tutorial um, please like comment subscribe and uh, try and have the next one uploaded soon. Bye.